So I'll be mentoring you on this subject, on this unique platform, Unacademy. Just the perfect platform if you have this goal, targeting an APG. This platform offers you a number of benefits. First of all, daily live classes and that too in a very structured manner. Then you can evaluate yourself by taking up a number of live quizzes. Uh, above all, an unlimited access, which is the key. And this all at a price that is very, very affordable. Very, very affordable. And then, you know, if you just add on this code, Dr. Mukul hyphen YT for a subscription, you additionally get this 10% off. Fair enough to enjoy a pizza every time you're watching a class. So if you want to stay connected with me, make sure you hang up with a subscription of Unacademy for Nick PJ. And for now, let me take you through a demo session on fracture healing and non-union. Well, before I formally begin, just sharing with you on a lighter side, a story. I asked one of my friends back in New York, just on a joking mode, that you must be sad that you are losing so many lives. He said, no, you are wrong. We might actually be saving all lives. I was surprised. I asked him how could he make such a comment and then he said that at least with the lockdown in place, there's something that they are not witnessing, trauma. You will be surprised to know that trauma is almost the fourth major epidemic in the world if you keep coronavirus on number one. So that is how he was saying that we are saving lives. So if you are a doctor, trust me, you cannot be far away from this term fracture because that is the fourth major pandemic in the world. So you must know a little about how a fracture heals and you must know how to handle if a fracture does not heal. So there will be a small discussion for this session. Let me start this discussion first by taking you through the stages of fracture healing. How a fracture heals? Well, let me tell you, bone breaks, bleeding occurs, blood organizes and organizes to become a hematoma. So the first stage of fracture healing, that is simply hematoma formation. Now this hematoma basically contains chemotactic factors. These chemotactic factors, they invite in the fibroblasts and once these fibroblasts penetrate the hematoma, this hematoma is now better called as granulation tissue. I think you already know that anything that has fibroblast, that is basically called granulation tissue. So that is the second stage of fracture healing, granulation tissue formation. Now this granulation tissue basically contains growth factors. There are a number of growth factors in the granulation tissue. Now under the influence of these growth factors, these fibroblasts grow, they grow and they grow and they become osteoblasts. Now you already know osteoblasts, bone forming cells. Uh, these osteoblasts, they start forming bone. They form an immature bone that is basically called as calus. So that is the third stage of fracture healing, uh, calus formation. Now this calus is actually a soft structure. Kalus soft structure hota hai. Kalus ban bhi jayega, 
तो वो भी फ्रैक्चर साइड में मूवमेंट हो सकती है बिकॉज केलस इज बेसिकली अ सॉफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो इफ दिस फ्रैक्चर हैज टू यूनाइट दिस केलस हैज टू बिकम स्ट्रॉन्ग इट हैज टू बिकम हार्ड एंड फॉर एनीथिंग टू बी हार्ड इन द बॉडी इट मस्ट हैव कैल्शियम लाइक टीथ दे आर स्ट्रॉन्ग बिकॉज दे हैव कैल्शियम सो दैट इज वॉट हैपन्स नेक्स्ट दैट कैल्शियम डिपॉजिट्स in this calus so this calus basically undergoes calcification and this calcified calus is rigid hard and this calcified calus is basically what you call as woven bone or 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 as some people they also call it a uh, consolidated bone so you call it woven bone you call it consolidated bone synonymous little more popular term woven bone and it is woven bone that is calcified callus that is rigid hard now on a simpler note bone is basically a combination of calcium that is mineral and proteins that is collagen to so, bone mein ek calcium hota hai ek collagen hota hai so apart from calcium in woven bone there will be collagen and what is the pattern of collagen in woven bone interwoven hap has it but you already know the pattern of collagen in a normal bone it is actually lamellar normal bone mein jo collagen hoti hai wo layers mein arranged hoti hai aur ye 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 center mein blood vessel hoti hai haversian canal that is like the the diagram of a normal bone wo jo anatomy ki classes mein padhate hain to normal bone mein collagen layers mein hoti hai lamellar structure mein hoti hai so that is the message that in this woven bone has to become a natural bone then this collagen has to become lamellar so that is what happens in the end this collagen becomes lamellar and then you have the last stage of fracture healing that's basically called remodeling that is the last stage of fracture healing remodeling and this remodeling is basically an ongoing process because bone is a dynamic structure every day some part of the bone is eaten up by these bone eating cells osteoclasts ye bone ko kha jate hain they create a fracture and every day that same part of the bone is formed by these bone forming cells osteoblasts to har roz thodi si bone osteoclast kha jate hain har roz thodi si bone osteoblast bana lete hain so bone keeps on remodeling keeps on remodeling all over life so bone is a dynamic structure so this is a naturally occurring cycle in the body but when you have a fracture body utilizes this same cycle even to make a fracture right so that is how fracture unites through five stages and let me also brief you a uh, little on the timing of these stages a hematoma is completely formed in like 2 to 3 days do se teen din mein hematoma pura organize ho jata hai granulation tissue formation completes by like 2 to 3 weeks do se teen hafte mein pura granulation tissue ban jata hai callus completely forms in like 2 to 3 months 3 mahine tak puri callus formation ho jati hai bone becomes rigid hard in 2 to 3 years do se 3 saal tak bone rigid hard ho gayi hoti hai and remodeling is an ongoing process that continues after 3 years for the life of the patient ये चलती रहती है बिकॉज बोन इज अ डायनामिक स्ट्रक्चर सो इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला ऑफ टू टू थ्री यू ऑल्सो रिमेंबर द टाइमिंग ऑफ दी स्टेजेस फ्रैक्चर हेमेटोमा थ्री डेज ग्रैंडलेशन टिश्यू थ्री वीक्स केलस ऑलमोस्ट थ्री मंथ्स रिजिड हार्ट बोन बाय अराउंड थ्री इयर्स एंड आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स बोन की रिमॉडलिंग ऑल ओवर लाइफ ये टाइमिंग याद कर लोगे तो कुछ एम सी क्यूज बड़े इजिली अटैम्प्ट आएंगे इफ आई आस्क यू that out of all these stages which is that stage that you will first see on x-ray callus to x-ray bhi jo sabse pehle dikhta hai that is callus i hope you can see this white shadow here this is callus i hope you can see this white shadow here this is callus so so that is the message ki x-ray pe jo sabse pehle stage dikhti hai uh, that is callus so first x-ray stage of union callus formation but mind you 
मैं बता चुका हूं कि केलस इज अ सॉफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर केलस बन भी जाएगा तो फ्रैक्चर साइट मूव करती रहेगी सो इफ आई आस्क यू द फर्स्ट क्लिनिकल स्टेज ऑफ यूनियन कि बोन रिजिड हार्ड कब हो जाती है कि उसमें क्लिनिकली कोई मूवमेंट नहीं मिलती दैट विल बिकम ओपन बोन तो फर्स्ट एक्सरे स्टेज ऑफ यूनियन केलस बट फर्स्ट क्लिनिकल स्टेज ऑफ यूनियन वुवन बोन बिकॉज इट इज वुवन बोन दैट इज रिजिड हार्ट इट इज वुवन बोन दैट इज रिजिड हार्ट एंड देन 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 वुवन बोन फॉर्म्स बाई लाइक थ्री ईयर्स तीन साल पे पूरी बन जाती है कंप्लीट फॉर्मेशन हो जाती है ओके केलस तीन महीने पे पूरा बन जाता है अब पहले केलस आता है तो एक्सरे की ऊपर पहले केलस आता है तो अगर यूनियन देखनी है तो पहले केलस से देख पाएंगे और केलस पूरा तीन महीने पे बनता है बट पहला जो केलस मिलेगा वो थ्री वीक्स पे मिलना शुरू हो जाएगा बिकॉज एट थ्री वीक्स दिस ग्रेनुलेशन टिश्यू विल स्टार्ट बिकमिंग केलस सो आइडिया इज वेरी क्लियर कि अगर हमने हीलिंग देखनी है फर्स्ट साइन ऑफ हीलिंग जो होगा वो केलस होगा एंड फर्स्ट हम फर्स्ट साइन ऑफ केलस विल बी विजिबल बाय थ्री वीक्स बिकॉज एट थ्री वीक्स केलस स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग फ्रॉम दिस ग्रेनुलेशन टिश्यू एंड देन बाई थ्री ईयर्स बोन इज रिजिड हार्ड सो दैट इज द आइडिया कि अगर हम बोन को किसी इम्प्लांट से फिक्स कर देते हैं और हमने इम्प्लांट रिमूवल करना है देन बोन हैज टू बी रिजिड हार्ड देन इम्प्लांट रिमूवल हैज टू बी डन आफ्टर टू टू थ्री ईयर्स सो अगर हम ये टाइमिंग समझ लेते हैं वी ऑटोमेटिकली गेट आंसर टू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन एक्सरे पे सबसे पहले केलस दिखता है दैट बी दी स्टेज ऑफ यूनियन केलस सॉफ्ट होता है सो क्लिनिकल स्टेज विल बी वूवन बोन ओके बट क्लिनिकल स्टेज बाद में आती है सो so, पहले केलस आता है तो अगर हमें फ्रैक्चर की हीलिंग मॉनिटर करनी है तो पहला साइन जो होगा वो केलस होगा वो अर्लीएस्ट थ्री वीक्स पे मिलेगा जब ग्रैनुलेशन टिश्यू केलस बनना शुरू होगा और अगर हमने बोन को फिक्स कर दिया है किसी इम्प्लांट के साथ और हम वो इम्प्लांट निकलवाना चाहते हैं तो इम्प्लांट हम तभी निकाल सकेंगे वेन दी बोन विल बी रिजिड हार्ड एंड दी मिनिमम टाइम बोन विल टेक टू बिकम रिजिड हार्ड टू टू थ्री ईयर्स सो दैट इज द आइडिया दैट इफ यू फिक्स द बोन विद इम्प्लांट यू कैन रिमूव एम इम्प्लांट only after 3 years so this table automatically gives you answer to all these scenarios now calus completely forms by like 3 months ye main abhi bata ke hata hu ki lagbhag 3 mahine pe pura calus ban jata hai now very simple when you don't get calus almost by like 6 months jab 6 months pe bhi calus nahi milta to hum use delayed union bolna shuru kar dete hain और जब हमें नाइन मंथ्स पर भी फ्रैक्चर दिखता रहता है केलस नहीं मिलता वी कॉल इट एज नॉन यूनियन सो दीज आर नॉट स्ट्रिक्ट डेफिनेशन दे आर अप्रॉक्सीमेट डेफिनेशन यू डोंट फाइंड केलस अपेयरिंग इवन बाई सिक्स मंथ्स यू कैन डेबल इट एज केलेड यूनियन एंड यू डोंट इवन फाइंड केलस अपेयरिंग इवन बाई नाइन मंथ्स यू कैन लेबल इट एज नॉन यूनियन एंड इफ यू लेबल इट एज नॉन यूनियन देन लेट मी टेल यू द मोस्ट कॉमन साइट where you will find this non union lower third of tibia if you are sitting in the orthopedic clinic this will be the commonest non union you might have to tackle and i'll just show you this non union also so this is the lower tibia that has gone into non union this is how non union looks on an x ray so how do you say that this is non union first thing the x ray must be 9 months old the injury must be uh, Uh, 9 months old fracture line visible even 9 months after the fracture then second thing no calus like just see here you can find calus but here there is no calus then third thing the fracture margins they also guide you in non union you will find these margins to be rounded and sclerotic anything that is like whitish on x ray is basically called sclerotic so fracture margins uh, round 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 nazar aate hain aur whitish nazar aate hain and let me tell you in late stages you can't even see the medullary canal ye jo medullary canal hoti hai andar this whole medullary canal 
this whole medullary canal fibrous tissue fills up the uh, medullary canal uh, so this medullary canal that's even obliterated so that is how you spot non union from an x-ray this is x-ray mein dekhoge to fracture line abhi bhi dikh rahi hai nine months old injury hai kilus nahi dikhai de raha fracture ke margins rounded hai whitish hai aur medullary canal uh, utne acche se nahi dikh rahi so that is how you decide that this is non union from the x-ray and yes once you have decided non union uh, let me brief you on how to manage this non union okay well what looks very easy ki ye fracture fix nahi hua ki yahan pe ek plate laga dete hain aur us plate ko screws ke sath yahan fix kar dete hain fracture stabilize ho jayega unite ho jayega kuch hatta ki logic theek bhi hai because if you ask me the most common cause of non union i would say inadequate immobilization jab hum fracture ko properly immobilize nahi karte to non union mein chala jata hai commonest cause but please please have a look at these x rays just have a look at these x rays this patient landed up with a fracture of the humerus some surgeon applied a plate fixed the fracture awesome reduction dikhi nahi raha fracture but when he came to me after 3 months the fracture line was visible there was no calus he had gone into non union so plate lagane se bhi non union ho jati hai kai baar so that means at least fixation cannot be the treatment because even with fixation you can have non union so please understand the problem here this patient was a chain smoker he bahut smoking karta tha to smoking se wo endothelial damage blood vessel injury vascularity mein problem aa gayi so he went into non union so what i did over here i filled this area with chips of bone this is something called bone grafting to jaise skin heal nahi karti hum skin grafting kar dete hain bilkul isi tarah jab bone heal nahi karti hum bone grafting karte hain plus you have to treat the causative factor so i told this patient stop smoking because that is the causative factor and i added this bone graft so absolutely in the same manner here the cause is no fixation so you fix the fracture but along with fixation you will have to go with bone grafting until unless you go with bone grafting a non union is not going to unite so that is the real treatment of non union bone graft you must put in bone graft only then will you find the fracture to be united if it is a case of non union yes if you have to harvest a bone graft then from where तो लेना कहां से है मैं ये भी क्लियर कर देता हूं बिल लेट मी टेल यू दॉमनेस साइट इलियक क्रेस्ट अदरवाइज फिबुला इज अनदर वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर बोन जहां से हम ग्राफ्ट ले लेते हैं विच इज बेटर मैं ये भी समझा देता हूं बट उसके लिए ना एक बार ग्राफ्ट की प्रॉपर्टी समझनी पड़ेगी वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट इन अ बोन ग्राफ्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट osteogenesis the second thing that you want osteo induction and the third thing that you want osteo conduction to ye teen cheeze bone graft mein hone bahut zaruri hain uh, osteogenesis means that the the graft should have bone forming cells कि वो बोन बना सके जेनेसिस इंडक्शन मींस दैट द ग्राफ्ट शुड हैव ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स ताकि वो होस्ट के सेल्स को बोन बनाने में हेल्प कर सके एंड ऑस्टियो कंडक्शन मींस दैट द ग्राफ्ट शुड बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड अ स्कैफोल्ड इन लेमेन लैंग्वेज द ग्राफ्ट शुड बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड अ होम अ स्पेस जहां पर बोन बन सके दैट इज ऑस्टियो कंडक्शन now if you talk of these three properties you find them in the iliac crest because this iliac crest is basically all cancellous bone cancellous bone spongy bone spongy bone spongy bone has a very good surface area it has excellent vascularity to jab bhi spongy bone hum use karte hain usme bone forming cells bhi zyada milte hain उसमें ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स भी ज्यादा मिलते हैं और उसमें सरफेस एरिया ज्यादा होने से स्केफोल्ड ऑस्टियो कंडक्शन प्रॉपर्टी भी बेटर होती है सो इट इज इलियक क्रेस्ट 
that is actually the favored site for taking a bone graft even more than fibula so if you have to add on a bone graft you should preferably harvest a bone graft from iliac crest because it has all these three properties on a better note so that is the best site uh, for taking a bone graft but yes sometimes you know a patient might not be willing to give you that extra bone from iliac crest or sometimes you have already taken a graft for 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 some previous surgery so when you don't have iliac crest available with you what are the options mai wo bhi ek baar bata deta hu well one option is to go with an allograft ye ek option hoti hai allograft means same species different individual so kisi aur human being ka graft le liya that is one option but then someone has to lend an allograft ये भी एक प्रॉब्लम रहती है सो अनदर वेरी यूजफुल थिंग इन दिस सिनारियो आर्टिफिशियल ग्राफ्ट यू नो स्पेशली वेन यू आर डीलिंग विद फीमेल्स उनमें बहुत यूजफुल होता है बिकॉज यू नो दे नेवर वॉन्ट टू टॉलरेट इन अदर इंसिजन ओवर द इलेक् क्रेस्ट टू हैंड ओवर अ ग्राफ्ट सो नाउ कम्स द रूल ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल ग्राफ्ट नाउ वॉट आर्टिफिशियल बोन ग्राफ्ट आर अवेलेबल मैं एक बार ये भी अपडेट कर देता हूँ तीन तरह के होते हैं एक होते हैं सेल बेस्ड जो दूसरे होते हैं दे आर बेसिकली ग्रोथ फैक्टर बेस्ड जो ग्रोथ फैक्टर सप्लाई करते हैं और एक जो तीसरी तरह के होते हैं वो होते हैं सिरेमिक्स सिरेमिक बेस्ड सेल बेस्ड का बेस्ट एग्जांपल होता है बोन मैरो बोन मैरो एस्पिरेट किसी का बोन मैरो लो और एस्पिरेट करके कहीं डाल दो now if you put bone marrow it has osteo genetic properties wo khud bone bana sakta hai now if you go by growth factor based then the best example is bone morphogenetic proteins ye khud bone nahi bana sakte but ye inductive hain host ke cells ko bone banane mein induce kar sakte hain and if you go by ceramics here the examples are something called hydroxy apatite or or something called calcium phosphate these basically provide scaffold to so, ye osteoconductive ho jate hain so artificial graft mein teenon tarah ki hamare paas choices hoti hain hame osteogenetic lena hai osteoinductive lena hai ya osteoconductive lena hai we have all three options we can use them in combination or we can use them like uh, one by one Uh, whatever we need, but they would at least uh, decrease some morbidity on part of the patient if we are going with these artificial grafts. So that is how go ahead with bone grafting to treat non-human. And yes, a very very off the track interesting point. I have already told you the commonest site for taking a bone graft is iliac crest. मैं समझा तो कौन बट एक बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग चीज बता रहा हूँ कि कई बार एग्जामिनर को बिल्कुल अच्छा नहीं लगता कि बच्चा क्वेश्चन का आंसर करते और खुश हो जाए सो एग्जामिनर आस्ती वो ट्विस्टेड क्वेश्चन कई बार वो तुम्हें मोस्ट कॉमन साइट ऑफ बोन ग्राफ्ट पूछने की बजाय ये ट्विस्टेड क्वेश्चन पूछ लेता है बेस्ट साइट फॉर टेकिंग बोन ग्राफ्ट सो इलिया क्रेस्ट इज मोस्ट कॉमन साइट पढ़ चुके हैं बट कई बार वो बेस्ट साइट फॉर टेकिंग बोन ग्राफ्ट ये क्वेश्चन पूछ लेता है तो जब तुम्हें ये क्वेश्चन आ गया लाइक विच इज द बेस्ट साइट फॉर टेकिंग अ बोन ग्राफ्ट तब क्या करना है तब दो तरह की चॉइसेस आती हैं ए एस आई एस पी एस आई एस वेरी कॉमन एम सी क्यू सो दीज चॉइस कम इन योर एग्जाम सो आई थिंक यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इलियर क्रेस्ट एंटीरियरली बिकम्स ए एस आई एस एंटीरियर सुपीरियर इलेक्स पाइन एंड इलियर क्रेस्ट posteriorly becomes psis posterior superior iliac spine to agar examiner ye puch le ki hame bone graft lena hai best site kya rahegi should it be asis should it be psis in dono mein se kaun si site choose karni hai then let me tell you it should actually be psis why main ek bar samjha bhi deta hu just imagine that if you are dealing with a patient who is obese like this and you want to reach the asis in this patient then at least 
one of your assistant has to retract the tummy to one side it is so difficult to reach the sis but please remember ki back wali side pe koi tummy nahi hoti so your psis is just under your skin or your so psis ko reach karna bahut easy ho jata hai so that is the whole idea that if at all you are asked the best site for taking a bone graft uh, it should actually be psis that should be the answer because of the percutaneous location bilkul skin ke niche hota hai that should be the answer okay and yes just to end up one last mcq ye jo non union bhi hoti hai ise bhi hum do tarah se divide kar lete hain uh, this is just an extra mcq for exams like the aims exam ek atrophic non union hoti hai ek hypertrophic non union hoti hai you find atrophic non union where there is no vascularity at the fracture ends and you find this uh, hypertrophic non union where the fracture ends are vascular so basically what the difference is ki hypertrophic non union mein calus milta hai atrophic non union mein koi calus nahi milta but agar hypertrophic mein calus milta hai ye non union kaise hui main ye bhi samjha deta hu because the calus here is non bridging calus wo fracture site ko bridge nahi kar pata so that is why you call it as non union so that is just an extra point to share with you so we go ahead with the classes i'll give you a lot of many tips that will help you to clap even the uh, difficult side of the papers okay so that was just a short demo from my side so in case you wish to see more of these classes there'll be a free live class tomorrow 8 pm but that will be on the unacademy platform and if you want to join a subscription for the plus course or the batches then most welcome to join from may 10th onwards the orthopedic batch will be starting 7:30 pm sunday but please do not forget to use this referral code dr mukul hyphen yt to get that 10% off thank you so let was small demo session from my side and before i wave goodbye to you just a small reminder the aims pg special championship free test series that's available on an academy that's free of cost so please do not waste your vacation that you have right now during the lockdown please use it as a preparatory leave to practice a few questions because the exams would be there anytime the series starts from 3rd of may go on to an academy to see this series thank you